Soya bean is a legume vegetable of the pea family that grows in both tropical and temperate climates. Soya bean was introduced to Africa in the 19th century by Chinese traders along the east coast of Africa. Soya bean has high protein content of about 36%. It also contains 30% carbohydrate and roughly 20% oil. It is therefore a very important crop for producing edible oils. It has very good amounts of dietary fiber, vitamins and minerals. It is used to reduce malnutrition due to protein deficiency mostly prevalent in sub-Saharan African. It is a substitute for the more expensive animal protein. It is the only available crop that provides an inexpensive and high quality source of protein comparable to meat, poultry and eggs. Nigeria is the highest producer of soya bean in Africa. It's a crop that is good for feeding of children, especially winning stage. We use it for feed formulation in our animal feeds. We use soya beans for other industrial purposes. Cultivation. Soya bean requires a temperature of between 27 degrees and 35 degrees with rainfalls of 30 cm to 125 cm per annum. It requires abundant sunshine and a rich sandy loamy soil with pH of 6 and 6.5. The land can be cleared manually or by the use of machines or tractors after which the trash is packed. Continual land preparation include stumping, plowing, harrowing and ridging which should be done in sequence. You need to select a suitable site for your soybean production. A site that is well drained, sandy loam soil, a soil that is that did not have hard pan beneath the top soil. Because the tap root of soybeans sometimes go deep inside. And if the soil had a hard pan beneath the soybean will not be able to do well. Because so I've been need soil that is loose and land that has a little bit smooth topography, not the land that has slope one side such that the nutrient or erosion will be coming into your farm. If the land that you select is a virgin land, then that means there must be trees, there must be tall weeds and other things there. So the first thing you do is you go in Clear all the, 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 the trees, remove the stumps, and then you can use chemical to spray for the weeds, the grasses there. You can use glyphosate, you spray after like one month, you go and slash it. Seed dressing is required before planting. Planting can be done manually or mechanized. Early planting occurs in April, while late planting is in July or early August. Dig 2 to 4 cm deep and put in 2 or 3 seeds per hole. Spacing can be by 25 cm by 90 cm or 30 by 75 cm. Germination of seeds occurs between 3 to 5 days after planting. You will need a total quantity of between, 50 to, between 40 to 50 kg seeds per to plant 1 hectare of soybeans. Some people broadcast their soybeans, but that is not the ideal agronomic practices for soybean. You don't need to broadcast your soybean, plant it on ridges or on line, three or plant at different spots with different uh, specifications. Maybe you are planting your soybean, you are targeting maybe a particular market, a market that is into processing soybean extracting of soybean oil. If you are looking for such market, then you need to look for a variety that has high oil content. But if you are looking for a market that is into feeds formulation or feeds preparation, animal feeds preparation, so all these things you have to put them in consideration before going to the farm to go and plant. Fertilizer application. Apply phosphate fertilizer from nodulation and pot formation. Apply the fertilizer during lamp preparation. 
the rate should be 250 kg per hectare. Timely application of manure and fertilizer to any crop are key factors in deciding the amount of yield. It is critical that the soil is fertile. To increase fertility for poor soil, apply 5 tons of ordinary compost like cow dung. Add along with it 40 kg of urea, 60 kg of superphosphate and 50 kg of potash ash per hectare. Timely application of phosphate is an important consideration when fertilizing soya beans. For soya bean, because it is a legume, it doesn't need much nitrogen. But you can give it a starter nitrogen to boost the growth of the seedlings so that it will be able to get more branches, more leaves, and that will increase the level of photosynthesis that at the end of the day, it will be able to fix in more nitrogen into the soil. Now, what is the best fertilizer for soybean? You can use SSP, but for soils that are not too good, you need to add NPK. That means you can give it a formulation of maybe NPK 15, 40, 15, meaning two bags of NPK 15, 15, and maybe one and a half or two bags of SSP. You mix it together and apply for one hectare. And the best time to apply this fertilizer is at planting or at land preparation. Most of the times you see farmers applying fertilizer in their soybean when the soybean is already flowering. And at that time, whether the soybean technique taking your fertilizer or not, you see the leaves will be green because it, have, it must have started fixing nitrogen into the soil and it's taking it back. That is why it is green. So, not that it is making use of your fertilizer. Another reason why you need to apply the fertilizer on time is that phosphorus is a material that doesn't dissolve fast and it doesn't move fast. Most of the times when you apply phosphorus, the nutrients will be within that region that you apply it. That means if you do not apply it on time, before it will start uh, supplying the nutrient to the crop, that is why you see farmers they are applying this fertilizer but they are not getting good yield at the end of the day because most of them they apply it late.